Last night was an unforgettable night for former Hollyoaks actress Rachel Shenton, whose story we've been following here on This Morning. Rachel is the writer and star of The Silent Child, which was nominated in the Best Action Short Film category. And the amazing news, and we all came in this morning all individually and separately in our, in yeah. our different modes of transport, all Googling, and, oh, my she God, they it. won! They did it! Rachel and her fiancé and director of the film, Chris Overton, join us live from L.A. right now. How come you're not at a party? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did, we did go to a party, but we, we did a few interviews. We went in, got an In-N-Out burger and then went back to the flat where all of our crew were and had a, bit, had a cup of tea and a bit of a celebration with them. It's still a bit of tomato on one of the Oscars. Really? Yeah, Chris did got you? a bit of an out burger on his Oscar. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and there they are. I mean, this really is the stuff of dreams. And when you were here on the sofa and we were talking about it and, you know, you sort of said that, it, you know, it probably won't happen. It's just nice to be nominated. But it did happen. So how did it feel when they read your names out? You're an Oscar winner. It's just crazy even hearing that, isn't it? Like, it's not sunk in yet. No, I don't think it has. It was. It, well, we were being serious when we were saying, oh, we're just so honoured to be nominated, because we really, really mean it. We absolutely have been, and we've said all along, if this is where it ends at the nomination, we're so happy with that. And then they read The Silent Child. <laughs> just so crazy. I can't, we still can't believe it now. Well, when you, uh, you sort of hear it and then you hear your name and then you think, oh, my God, I've got to go up there and I've got yeah. to make, make the speech which you signed, which was perfect. Um, and did, did you look at anyone whilst you were making the speech? Did you make eye contact with anyone? Um, I could see Maisie. I knew, I knew where she was sat with her mum. Um, Maisie's the little uh, deaf... Um, family deaf actress in our movie so I knew where she was sat so I kept looking at her but I didn't actually have my glasses on so I knew roughly where she was sat but everybody looked a bit blobby um, which probably helped actually because it helped with the nerves I was <laughs> terrified you um you let us be part of your styling team which we were very honored to be uh, Rachel you just looked absolutely beautiful and sewn in that beautifully uh, it was just made oh, you by you. Susan Neville and then we sewed in our this morning label and also Chris as well into your jacket on the red carpet you took us with you, so I, think I love we... the fact that you showed it on the red. I, we, were, we were so happy. I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah. Is it there? Let's show us again, Chris. We were just yeah. looking at you on the Thank red you. carpet Thanks then. The so, uh, so can we have a? Can we? There, there, there we go. There it is. Look. Look yeah. at that. There it is. There it is. That's just amazing. And what? Um, what? What was in the goodie bag? We didn't get. <laughs> I don't know how we I don't know how we did this. Um but we we left obviously with the Oscars crazy and we felt we we're in a bit of a whirlwind and then met our parents, met Maisie, made sure they were all okay and because they were leaving then. Maisie was obviously really tired. Um we went to the governor's ball to get our Oscars engraved and then we left and and it was only when we got back to the flat when we were talking to everyone that we were like, "Oh, we never got a goodie bag." They're worth thousands and thousands of pounds. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> don't. Yeah, no, I don't know how. I actually don't know how we've done it. <laughs> so what? What does this mean? Winning an Oscar. How does this change things for you, sort of work-wise now? I mean, does it? It must open so many doors for both of you. I mean, we've. I don't. Yeah, you th I mean, we've never won one before. Obviously, I don't. I don't know for sure, but I guess so. It can. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it will open doors, but, you know, mainly for the message of the film and for what it's done for Death and, Awareness. And for the film, we would love to extend this, this story, either a feature film or a longer drama, so hopefully it will help with that, because it's a pretty decent proof of concept, I'd say. <laughs> does, it, does it mean that, um, that now you, you've got sort of agents who pounce and, um, and you've, you stay in L.A. for longer now in case there are amazing offers that, that come up and people start perhaps talking about extending it into a full-length feature? Maybe. I think we just want to... We, we, we need some time just to, to go back home and just chill out, maybe have a few days away or something. Don't yeah, we? it has been a bit crazy, actually. It's, it's totally unexpected, but what, from when we first landed, right up until the Oscars, and then obviously now the outcome of the Oscars, which is just amazing, but it, we haven't sort of stopped, so we're just quite looking forward to 
going home and chilling out for a few days, actually. I don't know if we should probably stay here, but um, well, I think we're flying home. Career wise, if I was your agent, um, I'd Thursday. say perhaps it might be worthwhile sticking there for a couple of days just to see what happens. You know, I mean, nothing that's got anything to do with me, but I, I oh, don't, we, well, don't come back just yet. You're so very relaxed with all of this. I'd be like, up one and not. It's going to be out. I mean, you are, you're super cool with this. It's just incredible. Oh, I don't know if we are, really. We're going to retire now, aren't yeah, we? They, I mean, yeah. Because, yeah, I don't know how we're going to top this, so we're just going to retire. <laughs> but um, I, I think we're staying out until Thursday, so we've got a few days, but um, we're just sort of dying to go home. And show. There was, uh, There's loads of crew that can't be here that helped us with the movie, so yeah. it'd be really nice to go home and show them. And, them you know, yeah. they were a huge we're part of, of why it was so successful.